the new Pixel 9 Pro XL is finally available. After the typical torrent of leaks and rumors, Google's recent flagship lineup has finally arrived, delivering rational updates and presenting the Pixel as a viable competitor to the world's iPhones and Galaxies. One of those competitors is the Galaxy S24 Ultra, Samsung's greatest conventional smartphone, released in 2024 so far. The S Pen clad flagship is one of the most versatile phones of the year, and it could likely compete with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. The Pixel 9 Pro XL features an aluminum and mainly flat appearance, as is trendy these days. Visually, it closely follows the characteristic Pixel design style, with a revised camera strip at the back that moves away from the distinct 3D visor look of earlier Pixels. The Pixel 9 Pro XL, on the other hand, is a more traditional candy bar phone, with a matte back panel and a glossy, flat side frame that retains the overall look of previous Pixel flagships. A significantly redesigned camera island at the back replaces the previous Pixel's 3D viewer. Both phones have IP68 water and dust resistance, so they can withstand the elements. This means that each phone can be submerged in up to 1.5 meters of water for up to 30 minutes and still survive. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S24 Ultra uses a largely flat titanium frame with a slight curve for improved ergonomics. It's Samsung's largest traditional phone so far, released in 2024, with a fully flat 6.8-inch display up front. Of course, as with other Galaxy devices, this one ships with the S Pen tucked into its silo right out of the box. The Pixel 9 Pro XL is lighter than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but it is somewhat larger and taller. This effectively implies that, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the heavier phone, it is significantly more single-handed friendly due to its narrower design. The Pixel 9 Pro XL comes in four colors, obsidian, porcelain, rose quartz, and hazel, black, white, pink, and green. At the same time, the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes in titanium black, titanium gray, titanium violet, titanium yellow, titanium blue, titanium green, and titanium orange. Although the two phones' displays differ somewhat in size, they are not significantly different. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has a 6.8-inch super actual display with a dynamic refresh rate of 1 to 120 Hz. It's a high-end QHD plus OLED panel with a peak brightness of 3000 nits, up from 2400 nits on the Pixel 8 Pro. That's incredible, and it outperforms the S24 Ultra in this one critical area. At the same time, the Galaxy S24 Ultra features a 6.8-inch QHD Plus display with a smooth 1 to 120 Hz refresh rate. Samsung is also playing in the brightness wars, with its latest flagship capable of reaching peak brightness levels of up to 2500 nits in ideal settings. However, that is insufficient to beat the new top Pixel. In terms of biometrics, the Pixel 9 Pro XL will almost definitely mirror the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which includes an in-display fingerprint scanner. While the phone is official, we have yet to receive a confirmation. Ultrasonic fingerprints are typically faster and more accurate. The Tensor G4 makes its way inside the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Like earlier Tensor chips, this one is highly reliant on on-device AI and machine learning, shifting the emphasis away from raw speed. AI is all the rage, and the Tensor G4 provides a specialized environment for anything related to artificial intelligence. Indeed, all Pixel 9 devices come with a Gemini Nano with multi-modality, which is entirely powered by the Tensor G4. Google claims that this is the most capable on-device at eye model, capable of interpreting images and audio in addition to text and speech. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, widely regarded as one of the best options in 2024 for sheer performance, powers the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Aside from outperforming our simulated benchmark tests, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is one of the most efficient chips available, despite being built on a foreign manufacturing process. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has an impressive 16 gigs of RAM, which is more than adequate to meet all on-device AI needs. The S24 Ultra has 12 gigs of RAM, which is sufficient but may not be future-proof given AI vast hardware requirements, which will only increase in the coming years. Storage options for the Pixel 9 Pro XL include 128 gigs, 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and one terabyte, 
While the Galaxy S24 Ultra offers 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 terabytes. Both Samsung and Google now have top-tier 7-year software update policies in place. This means the Pixel 9 Pro XL will be supported until 2031, just like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Surprisingly, the Pixel 9 Pro XL does not ship with Android 15 out of the box. The next software upgrade is due this year. However, the Pixel 9 Pro XL ships with Android 14 out of the box. The same is true with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which ships with One UI 6.1, based on Android 14, but Samsung will most likely release One UI 7, based on Android 15, shortly after Google officially releases the OS. The Pixel 9 Pro XL includes a 50 megapixels primary camera with an aperture of slash 1.68 and a large sensor size of 1 slash 1.31. Both the ultra-wide and 5X telephoto cameras use 48 megapixel sensors with relatively large apertures of slash 2.8 and of slash 1.7. Despite the lack of dedicated cameras for those specific zooms, the Pixel 9 Pro XL offers optical quality zoom at 2X and 10X via sensor cropping and hybrid zoom. The Pixel 9 Pro XL comes with a plethora of AI and software capabilities, including Pro Controls, AdMe, Macro Focus, Night Sight, Astronomy, Portrait Mode, Face Unblur, Long Exposure, Action Pan, Real Tone, Panorama, Top Shot, and Frequent Faces. Both devices support the AI-powered Magic Editor, Magic Eraser, Best Tech, Photo Unblur, Zoom Enhance, and Portrait Light. The Galaxy S24 Ultra features the same camera as the S23 Ultra, with a unique twist. Rather than a 10 megapixels periscope camera with 10x optical zoom, we received a 50 megapixels telephoto with 5.0x optical zoom. This turned out to be an upgrade, as the gadget maintained the same 100x space zoom levels while providing arguably greater zoom quality, which is critical in such cases. Overall, it's a toss up between which phone will produce superior image quality. So far, it appears that the S24 Ultra may have an advantage due to its more adaptable layout. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has a 5060 mAh battery, which is a small increase over the previous model's 5000 mAh battery. Paired with the efficient Tensor G4, the next top Pixel phone should have exceptional battery life, potentially better than the Pixel 8 Pro. We hope so. The Galaxy S24 Ultra has a 5000 mAh battery, which along with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, provides excellent battery life. It performs admirably in our custom battery tests, setting a high bar for all other flagships to follow in 2024. Learn more about the Galaxy S24 Ultra's battery life and charging options here. Which one should win? We're dying to know too, but first we'll have to run the Pixel 9 Pro X style through our unique battery tests. Again, the camera technology has been upgraded and Pixel phones were already fairly good at taking photos and recording videos. There are three rear cameras and an improved 42 megapixels front camera. Footage may be algorithmically improved to 8K, and the business is finally adding super res zoom to videos. It's vital to understand that the x is just a larger version of the Pixel 9 Pro. Aside from somewhat faster charging and a larger display, there aren't many characteristics that set it apart from its smaller counterpart. That display, however, is quite beautiful. Google promises that the 6.8-inch Super Actual OLED panel will display true-to-life colors, even in direct sunlight. This is because the brightness level has increased slightly to 3,000 nits. The Pixel 9 Pro XL is priced at $1,100 and will be available in four colors. These include Obsidian, Rose Quartz, and Hazel. The Pixel 9 Pro XL supports 37-watt wired and 23-watt wireless charging, but there is no charger included in the box. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, which includes 45-watt wired charging, could theoretically charge faster. However, wireless charging on Samsung phones is slower. Overall, Google appears to be preparing another high-end opponent to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which will surely heighten the battle for the Android crown. The Pixel 9 Pro X dial appears to be the phone to acquire if you're into AI in 2024, with sensible enhancements and significant gains in the most important areas. It's the one to keep an eye on because of its newer design and potential for fantastic cameras.
the Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is without a doubt the best option and one of the top phones introduced in 2024. Which is better? It remains to be seen, but it appears that the Galaxy S24 Ultra may keep its crown. So tell us what you think about this comparison in the comment section. Then I will see you in the next one. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.